Happy Sabbath, sisters in Christ. We give God praise and thanks for another opportunity to worship Him in spirit and in truth. The month of March is a quite signal one for all women. We give God praise and thanks for the several contributions of women world over. But on this Sabbath, the first Sabbath in the month of March annually, our women seek to come together to congregate and to pray. The Seventh-day Adventist World Church has seen it fit for women in each congregation to spend time petitioning the throne room of God. This year, for International Women's Day of Prayer, we are celebrating under the theme, Transformed by Prayer. Paul, in his writings, says, I beseech you, therefore, O brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies living sacrifices, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 and 2. We have come together this morning, or wherever you are in your congregations, uh, to petition God to transform your lives your homes, your families, your communities. I know that if there's ever been a time that transformation is needed, it's now. And we are thankful to God that we can rest assured that prayer is able to transform whatever situation, whatever circumstance, whatever crucibles you might have this morning. Even as I contemplate on women in the Bible, I can think of several women whose circumstance was transformed by prayer. You remember Hannah? She prayed and God blessed her with that long-awaited child, Samuel. You remember even Mary, the mother of Jesus. She allowed for God's plan to be accomplished in her life through prayer. We are thankful this morning that we can contemplate on the lives of women like Lydia, who spent time in prayer. God opened her heart, and she wasn't the only one transformed, but her entire family. Can you remember Esther? Esther fasted and prayed with the Jewish women, and God intervened. I would want to assure you this morning, even as we spend time in prayer, and we seek that much needed transformation, God will bless you, my sisters, in copious ways. He's still willing to hear your petitions. He's still willing to hear your heart's cry. I hear the servant of the Lord say in the book Prayer 223, there is no time or place in which it is inappropriate to offer a petition to God. And so let's pray. Let's trust God to come true for us because we know that he has invited us to come boldly before his throne. And so I pray that even as you join together, even as you commune together in the presence of the Lord on this international day of prayer, that he'll bless you, that he'll bless your homes, that he'll bless your family, and indeed transformation will be yours. Let us pray, our God and Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory and the honor this morning. We're thankful, O oh God, that the world over, each Seventh-day Adventist woman, each woman is afforded this awesome privilege to call upon you who has promised to answer and hear and show us great and mighty things. We're thankful this morning for our homes and our, our families. We are thankful this morning, Heavenly Father, for our churches and our communities. We are trusting you today. We are committing these into your hands because we know whatever we commit into your care, you're well able to keep. Do the transformation on our behalf. We are thankful, O oh God, that any woman, any girl that comes before you this morning, you will know why it's cast out. And so we are coming to you because we know uh, that you can do it for us. We know that you can transform our health circumstances. We know that you can provide our finances. We come before you because we know uh, that you can do uh, above all that we can think, ask, or even fathom. So each woman this morning is trusting you, O oh God, 
on this international day of prayer uh, to do a mighty work in their lives. Uh, not just bless the women congregated in the Seventh-day Adventist congregations, but women all over the world. Our leaders need you. Uh, they need you. They need your guidance. And so, Lord, uh, bless our leaders. Uh, bless every woman in their varying situations, whether joyous or whether grievous. We thank you and we praise you. And we give you the glory, even as you transform every circumstance and every situation to your name's honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.